Hi everyone! Welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about multiplication and division of integers. So multiplication and division of integers are actually the easiest operations on integers. So they are easier to perform than addition and subtraction. So we will just consider a simple rule in multiplication and division of integers. So we need to perform the operation on the two numbers and for the sign of the final answer. So for like signs, the answer is positive and for unlike signs, the answer is negative. So based on this rule, we just need to perform first the operation on the two numbers. So it means that we can disregard the sign or we just need to operate on the absolute value of the numbers. So either multiplication or division. And then for the final answer, we must follow this rule. That is for like signs, if the two integers are both negative or both positive, the answer is positive. So therefore, if we have positive times positive or negative times negative for multiplication, so the answer will be positive. Likewise, for division, if we have positive divided by positive or negative divided by negative, the answer will be positive. And for unlike signs, this time the answer is negative. So that is if we multiply or divide one negative and one positive integer. So therefore, if we have negative times positive or positive times negative, the answer will be negative. Likewise, for division, if we have negative divided by positive or positive divided by negative, the final answer will be negative. Okay? So, to illustrate the rules in multiplication and division of integers, let's have some examples. So, let's have multiplication first. So, let's say we have 2 times 5. So, based on the rule, we just need to operate on the numbers, which is 2 times 5, the answer is 10. And for the sign of the final answer, since both numbers are positive, therefore, the final answer should be positive also. So, we have positive 10 or simply 10. Next, let's say we have negative 3 times 4. So again, let's just operate on the numbers. So 3 times 4 is 12. But since they have unlike signs, 1 negative and 1 positive, so based on the rule, the final answer should be negative. So therefore, we have negative 12. Next, what if we have negative 9 times negative 8? So perform first the multiplication. 9 times 8 is 72. Since they have like signs, they are both negative, the final answer should be positive 72. Next, let's say we have 7 times negative 6. So perform the multiplication, 7 times 6 is 42. Since they have unlike signs, 1 positive and 1 negative, the final answer should be negative 42. What if we have negative 4 times 5 times negative 6? So this time, we have to multiply 3 integers. So if this is the case, let's multiply first the first 2. So we have negative 4 times 5. So multiplying first 4 times 5, we have 20. But since they have unlike signs, the product should be negative 20. And then, multiply now this negative 20 to the remaining factor, which is negative 6. So therefore, we have negative 20 times negative 6. Multiplying 20 and 6 first, we have 120. And since they are both negative, the final answer should be positive 120. Okay? Next, let's have division. So, let's say we have 25 divided by 5. So, just like in multiplication, we just need to perform the division on the two numbers. So, we have 25 divided by 5 is 5. And since they are both positive, the final answer should be positive 5 or simply 5. Next, let's say we have 33 divided by negative 11. So dividing 33 by 11, we have 3. And since they have unlike signs, 1 positive and 1 negative, based on the rule, the final answer should be negative 3. Next, let's say we have negative 120 divided by 6. Performing the division, 120 divided by 6 is 20. And since the given have unlike signs, 1 negative and 1 positive, the final answer should also be negative 20. Next, let's say we have negative 100 divided by negative 4. 
So dividing 100 by 4 first, we have 25. And since they have like signs, both negative, the final answer should be positive 25. Next, let's say we have negative 2 times 6 divided by negative 4. So this time, we have a combination of multiplication and division. So let's perform first the multiplication on the numerator. We have negative 2 times 6. So multiply 2 times 6, we have 12. And since they have unlike signs, one negative and one positive, the product should be negative 12. Then divide it by negative 4 this time. So negative 12 divided by negative 4. So perform the division 12 divided by 4, we have 3. And since they are both negative, the final answer should be positive 3. Okay? So that's how to multiply and divide integers. So just perform the operation and for the final answer, if the two numbers have unlike signs, the final answer should be negative. While if they have like signs, the final answer should be positive. Okay? So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.